Hi, I'm Chelsea Handler, and this is my turn. So when I was living in LA, I was doing stand-up. I think I was about 25 or 26, and I was doing stand-up all the time. And I had a lot of friends that were doing stand-up, and we'd all perform together. And then we all did a showcase at the Improv in Los Angeles on Melrose. Showcased for this agency at the time, which was a big agency. And I had been doing stand-up for about five years at that point, and my girlfriend, who I convinced that she sh had to do stand-up, she had to, she was so funny, I'm like, you have to do stand-up, you have to try it. She had been doing stand-up for like a year, and we both showcased for this agency, and she got a call from them the next day, and I did it. And I had been working and I for it, and I thought for sure I had gotten them, and that they would want to represent me, and she called me with the news, and I had to feign that kind of enthusiasm and say, yeah, oh, that's great, when I wasn't chosen. And it was awful because she was my really close friend and I hated the way that I felt, that I was jealous and that I, I, I wanted to be chosen and there must have been some mistake and how could she get something that I didn't, it wasn't fair because I was the one who convinced her to do stand up in the first place. And I had all of those thoughts and I called my sister, Simone, and I said, I'm having really bad thoughts about my friend. This is what happened. And and she said, it's okay for you to feel jealous. It's okay, that's a natural feeling. You can't stop yourself from feeling that way. And you've told me, so you've told someone, you don't need to tell anyone else. You just can't ever act on jealousy. But you have to understand that what you have is completely different than what my friend had. What you have, no one else has. So there will be a place for you. Don't think that because someone got something that you're not gonna get something else. There's room for everybody. And that stuck with me always because it's so easy to see somebody else kind of getting the limelight or your light is fading, you're not, you know, your light isn't always as bright as it's going to be. There's always people coming in and coming up. But to remember that there's always a space for you because there is no one that's exactly like you. So whenever I have feelings like that, I always tell one person <laughs> and then I don't act on them and I never ever blow out someone else's candle to make mine brighter. Um, so AK, if you're wondering what it's like being the nephew of Chelsea Handler, um, to, to everyone else it might seem like unordinary or special in a way, but to me it honestly feels normal. Like Chelsea is just um, my aunt, but a couple of the things that stand out about her and make her unique is that she's she's so successful and this success that she has kind of motivates me to be the best version of myself. Um, also, I, I kind of rarely get to see her, but when I do see her, it's either on one of these like amazing vacations. We, uh, we usually go skiing or we go to Martha's Vineyard or Nantucket, which are these islands off the coast of Massachusetts. And those are always a lot of fun. Uh, just because I'm, I get to bring my whole family, uh, extended family with cousins and aunts and uncles, and I get to see her. It's always really fun to hang out with her because she's a comedian, obviously, so she makes like jokes and stuff. <laughs> um, what else? Um, and also sometimes I get to see her at her shows, uh, where I get to go backstage and then get to see like a stadium full of people just clapping for her and cheering her on, which is always amazing. So th yeah, that's how, that's how it feels being a nephew of Chelsea.